So I think everybody's always a little bit nervous when they see the rain tires come out just because there's unknowns. Oh, right? yeah. On places we haven't raced these rain tires before, you know, Chicago, I think if you took a poll, an anonymous poll, because people wouldn't tell you the truth if it, they knew their names were attached to it, everybody before Chicago was a chicken because you just like street course, not knowing what we're doing, uh, and in the absolute torrential downpour. But everybody figured it out, and it was pretty cool. So I was cool to see. It was I was like pumped up. Hey, let's let's get go, let's get going. Some sprinkle tires. Uh, first time at a Cup points race, we let them let them roll out. And this is guys, this was the perfect condition uh, for these tires. Little bit of mist, not much. Track was damp but not wet. No standing water. Uh, let's go ahead and get these people's attention at seven o'clock prime time Easter Sunday. And they let us go. Uh, that was pretty cool. The track was pretty dry. Um, you know, the track surface was damp, but no standing water. The paint, I don't know if anybody knows this or not, the paint is like uber slick. So you want to make sure you get your done, your braking initiated, not on a paint. There was one time I hit, I saw the 8 do the same thing. The 14 did it a couple times where you start braking and your right front just happens to be on a hash mark and it just oh. locks right up and you go, it feels like you're going 200 miles an hour straight into the wall. Oh. And then you're just like off the brake trying to get the tire to catch up to the, how fast the car is going. Uh, it was fun. It was The track was super wide. How much different was the grip level there than when you put slicks on it? Um, or like, okay, here, let me ask you this. In practice, when you guys practice, how much different did the car drive in practice than it did? I think whatever your car was doing in practice or wh however it w ended up being on slicks, it was just exaggerated on ring tires. If you're a little bit tight, it was going to be tighter because you piss off the right front tire and it's going to wear it out more. If you're a little bit free, you're going to get free. See, you said everybody freaks out because I'd say like you talk about Chicago and then here like everybody's kind of nervous because yeah I think <clears throat> yeah there's, there's not not many like like cheery smiles going on in pre-races when you see like a little bit of rain a little bit of chatter some guys bustling around everybody but, is everybody that's cup racing is like prepared for everything everything is calculated everybody's prepared Everybody knows exactly what's going to happen. If it's a little tight, I'm going to do this with air pressure. I'm going to make like, everybody's got a game plan. Then you throw this in the mix, and everybody's game plan goes out the window. That's why everybody's so pissed off and nervous. Yeah, because like this is not how I saw it going. Yeah, everything's calculated down to the tenth of a second, you know. And it's like, uh oh, that's why I think you see everybody kind of go like throwing red flags. So, um, but so that's what that's what makes the racing better. Same thing that just we just saw in Bristol, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's like. Everything is calculated so much that sometimes it does make the racing not Visually as exciting, yeah, yeah. right? You need you need to be like, hey, we're gonna put a jump on the front stretch today. Yeah, you know, like you need something a joker there, lap. yeah, to to make it make it different. 